Hi everyone, my name is Olayin Kayeni. I'm from Bego Consult. Today we're going to be talking about security groups and I'm going to give you a little bit of a little bit overview on what security group is all about. Security groups are the fundamentals of network security in AWS. They control how traffic is allowed in and out of our EC2 machine. So your security group is going to be attached to your EC2 instance or other type of instance that you are running. It is very, very important to have skills in troubleshooting networking issues. Okay, the first steps is to look at your security groups to see if uh, if some parts are allowed, and also your security group. Uh, uh, they always act as firewalls on EC2 instance. So they are the one that controls what traffic comes in and what traffic goes out of your EC2 machine. So let's get answered. I'm currently on uh, my AWS management console. I'm going to click on services and uh, type EC2. Security group is under EC2. Okay, EC2 virtual servers and cloud. I'm going to click on that. On this page, I'm going to I will scroll all the way down and uh, under network and security, there is a security group section. So I'll click on that. I already have some existing security group that have already uh, been created, but we want to create an additional security group. For your case, you might not have any group here, but just don't worry. Let's create a new one. We can, we're going to create a new security group by clicking on create security group. You need to give your security group a name. Okay, I will give my, my demo. And you need to add some descriptions to your security group. Uh, that is um, security group. Security group. Demo. Okay, so you have the option of to select the type of VPC that you want the security group to be attached to. For now, I'm going to choose on the default VPC, but for those of you that you already have your network created, you can attach this, this security group to any network. Okay. If you go down, you can see there are two sections to security group. There's an inbound rule and there's an outbound rule. Let's talk about the outbound rule first. The outbound rule is how do you want to uh, want to control the type of connections that go outside? I mean, uh, that goes from your EC2 instance outside. And there's a default rule that has already you know um, that comes by default, but you have options to edit it. It says all traffic, okay from protocol all from portrait all destination all okay that uh like is like a preset rule, which means that you can connect uh, any traffic going from your ec2 instance outside to the internet it's allowed okay the most important part is the inbound rule because you will want to control the type of traffic that comes inside that and order have access to our ec2 instance okay for now, um, I am um, running a Linux, a Amazon Linux 2 AMI instance, um, running uh, Linux, and also I'm going to deploy a basic Apache web service on my server, which means that I need two security groups. One is SSH and the other one is port 80. But if you are looking into getting more secure, you can, you can uh, include port 443 in which we will discuss at a later class. But for now, let's go to the inbound rule and add some rule, okay? I want to add uh, SSH, which will allow me to SSH into my EC2 instance on port 22. The source, if you have some IP ranges that you want to specify, you can click on custom, then you can put in the IP range that you want. But if you don't want any IP range, you can click on anywhere. It's going to automatically say, okay, it's from 0, 0, 0, 0, slash 0. From, it's going to allow SSH network from IPv4 and IPv6 from anywhere 
you can add a description here okay allow SSH connection from anywhere okay and uh, 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 and also you can also attach um, so we've done the SSH path now we want to add another rule to allow port 80 into our EC2 HTTP runs on port 80 okay if you look at the protocol is TCP and the port range as we preset because we chose HTTP we want this server I mean we want uh, uh, um, to to allow access from the world from the internet on the server so I'm gonna click on anywhere which allows IPv4 and IPv6 and add the and um, you go down and you click on create a security group now our security group has been created the security group name is my demo we have a security group ID and we have a VPC and, uh, and this is the rule that we have we have HTTP port 80 on uh, IPv4 HTTP port 80 on IPv6 and also SSH port 22 on IPv4 and SSH port 22 on IPv6. So this we is how to create a security group. In our next lecture, we are going to discuss how to attach a security group to an EC2 instance. Thank you.